Hello all, and welcome back to the scrapyard. We just went live, and I just got a visitor. Hello, bud. I'm gonna jump into the Discord and see if he's around to chat with. I wasn't even ready for him to show up. Plugging in and setting things up. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's yeah, but, uh, this would be nicer. Yeah. Yeah. A nice large grid cargo there I see you got. Yeah, yeah. Trade one to one, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this one is much cooler than, than yours, so you get the better one. Interesting. Right? Very interesting. I think uh, I think Ban will be di displeased with me if I if I trade for a plushie, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> he came back here and he's like, "Oh, we have two cargo containers, nice!" And then he welded this one all up. Oh, yeah, I was gonna trade that. He's like, "Oh, but now we have two people." <laughs> I'm like, mm. We still have, uh, we're only a quarter full in our current one, so I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. Hopefully we'll find another. But, uh, yeah. I guess let's do this trade. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like, uh, I kind of like this crazy thing you've built. Can you help me haul this into our hangar somewhere? Van's gonna be like, what the heck, Shifty, when he logs back in? What is this? I don't think it's it's pushable, but I can I think maybe like, maybe fly with it two in people. There. Can you uh, try lifting on? Well, let's both lift on the same side. Yeah, this looks heavy. Hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, I can now just leave it right there, or actually, can you just set yeah, I it? I can fly it in there. I think. Uh, yeah, if you can go in, go in. If not... Actually, no, don't go in because I'm gonna probably build something out of that. Just set it off to the side so it's not right between the buildings, because that's where we drive through and park. <laughs> nice vehicle you've got here. Fairly similar to what I was gonna build. Just one big up thruster and then a few to the sides. Yeah, the limitation of thrusters gave me the shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Looks pretty stable though. Yeah, set it over here somewhere next to the hangar. King metal grids or anything over at your place? I uh, don't know the current. Okay, I'll just uh, give you the. Yeah. I'll just give you this one completely welded. Then that's fine. We can find more stuff. We're going to be building our own flying vehicle today, probably at some point, so... Should be alright. Nice. It's beautiful. We've got a bunch of these small, large grid cargos as well, so... If we have to use those, we can always use those. Yeah. <laughs> a whole pile of them. Uh, let's just log in to uh, sort all of our loot into the shed here now. Is this, was this shed already here? No, I picked it up with my <laughs> my rover and I, I brought it here and then oh. we fixed it up. Built the whole base for it, merged it to the base. So it's actually attached underground to our other one so that it gets... It's all one piece. Wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. How is it attached? Um, it's attached on the, the sides. It's attached right here. I mean to the to the other one. Uh, underground. There's just a... Uh, I just dug down and built across. Uh. And then built up. So it's... 
Yeah, okay. we were thinking about doing like a pipe or something going across in the air, but then we'd have to yeah. drive underneath it all the time, and yeah, that's, that's not great. Maybe crash it when flying. Right. Yeah, it might <laughs> not be good. So, yeah, that was the last thing. Well, one of the last things we did yesterday. We also did one more tiny loot run and found big flat thrusters. Actually, they're all still on the car. We found three solar panels and uh, these nice big flat thrusters. So, oh, pretty yeah, excited nice. about that. Yeah, it was must be super late online. Don't know when. Yeah, it was. It was pretty late. Actually, early at that point. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was morning for me. It was probably almost afternoon for you. No, it, I went in to bed five o'clock in the morning. Jeez, way way too late. Of course, mm. but yeah, yeah. I built a little, little uh, gift for you. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. We're gonna have to. We're probably gonna put that plushie somewhere in the base. Attached to yeah, our survival yeah. kit or something. Pretty nice. Sweet. Well, if you can take off with this large grid industrial, you're welcome to. I have a feeling you won't be able to. Unless we dismantle is, is it. Is it attached right now? No. no. No, it's just rolled there. Okay. Dan said the same thing. I'm like, nah, I just rolled it really nicely. Okay, <laughs> <It's> okay. <the laughs> thought. I, uh, yeah, I try it at least. Yeah, we'll see. One thruster? I don't hey, think. Hey, can you guys hear me? Hey, I can hear you now. I don't think oh, you'll be able Hello. to pick it up. Yeah, I don't use this often, so it wasn't set up right. Ah, wow. Okay. I have two thrusters left and right. Yeah, this is going to be very dangerous but you can fly technically with it. All right, have fun. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, now, yeah. I have, now I have to deal with the repercussions <laughs> when Bang gets back <laughs> online. He's like, where is the big cargo shifty? <laughs> like, uh, just oh. tell him it just disappeared or something. I'll tell him it's over there by the side of the thing and he's gonna be like, oh, okay. And then he's gonna look at me and he's gonna be like, wait a second. This is wait, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> like, oh yeah, you tell him it's rusted in the rain. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell yeah. him I had to take some of the parts out, and he'll. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if he'll notice right away. He probably will. But yeah, yeah, I wasn't. Maybe not that accurate. I don't know. I had. I had the picture from. It looks when you good. Found it. Like I could tell very obviously that it was supposed to be large grade cargo, but yeah, like if he just glances and doesn't look like look at it closely, he might. Not realize yeah, it right away. Helps, yeah. yeah. If you let it rust, then probably maybe maybe a few <laughs> seconds, and then what yeah, exactly. happened here? Yeah, it'll be a double take. He'll look and he'll be like, "Oh," and then he'll look again and be like, "Oh, <laughs> I see what's happening." Uh, yeah. Then he goes with his uh, welder. Then ah, blood. Okay, we have to talk. <laughs> uh, I'll convince him that it was worth it. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think he's not mad. I, I, it's, it's a game. Yeah, yeah. It's well, just I... a game, you know? We will find at some point all the stuff you need. Mm. And trading is uh, fun. Yeah, why not? Only thing is, yeah, battery only can fly, I don't know, half an hour with full thrust or so. Uh, two. two. Two? Okay. Dang. Yeah. So, how, you have enough thrusters for your own stuff. How many you have? Uh, well, I've got the one uh, large, large one. Um, mm -hmm. I have two of those large flats. And then we've got three of the normal thrusters, the one by one by threes. And five of the one by one by ones. So yeah, it's, it's only the the big one and seven smalls and two flat. Yeah, 
So I think we have enough to do something very similar to what you have, yeah. pretty much. You don't uh, übertreiben. Uh, don't yeah. Don't make it too big. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. As light as possible. Yep. It'll probably be some sort some of skeleton. Ground clearance, maybe. Yeah. What do you have for gyros on yours? Just one, or do you have a couple? Uh, two. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Just because if be you're carrying okay with stuff, two, yeah. it's might be a little scary without more. I tried to lift uh, one of these heads where the little buggy with the survivor kit, kit is in, but it's what's so heavy. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, later. <laughs> Nearly crashed the <laughs> ship. This was a bit, yeah, hmm. Scary. Yeah. And then I accidentally left my cockpit while flying. Yep. I'm worried uh, about that happening. Yeah. Definitely going to add and, an antenna or something in a remote control in case that yeah, happens. We had only one antenna and we found another antenna. We said, yeah, and we need this because if I uh, accidentally, you know, <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. what happened later before I attached the antenna. I think I'm going to add some uh, event controller blocks so that if that happens, it just lands itself right there. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. It would be an idea. interesting thing to try to set up, so I might try and do that. And then I tried... I don't know, 10 minutes scaffolding my way up. <laughs> oh guy. gosh, yeah, <laughs> that sounds rough. I, I had, uh, I was afraid because I had only seven minutes left of power and it was flying there. And, oh, mm -hmm. oh no, oh no, oh no, fast, fast, fast. <laughs> yep. But when it's hovering, it's, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, less uh, fuel then. Man, I was glad I had turned on the backwards rest curves while flying I just turned them off and let let's glide. Yeah. Could have been bad. But then it was yeah, it was just gone. <laughs> Would have been gone, yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's what's scary today yesterday. So when comes uh ban online? I don't know. You have any uh, talks about? <laughs> no, we kind of just uh, whenever he's around, we usually do stuff. I was really just logging in to uh, to rearrange a few things. Yeah, I was uh, on my way, and I said, "Oh, ships!" And oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I don't that want to, out. to grab it just. Without permission, you know. I would have been fine with it. It's more fun if I can be here and we can do the trade, though. Yeah, I was thinking uh, just uh, exchange, and then you, you see, huh? <laughs> that would have been funny too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's no, it's this way. Oh yeah, I forgot. I want to edit a battery and some blinky lights, but ah, uh, I forgot. Oh, inside, you know. Mm. But now it's a pretty decent looking uh, decorative block. Yep. We'll keep it around for forever. I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> Remind us of that time we traded for a plushie. <laughs> Yeah, what would in scrapyard would be without a lot of rusty things. Also, don't forget, here's just 0 0.95 G. So it's a little bit less than Earth, so you can lift a little bit more. That is kind of nice. I didn't know that. Or I think somebody told me that before, but I forgot. Yeah, look on your hat. <laughs> I don't even know where that's listed on my head. This is a weird Under thing nine. Ah, there we go. P gravity. Mm, okay. 
And the atmosphere density, I'm assuming, is Earth-like. Uh, I don't know. I don't test it at how high I can fly. At 500 meters, it's still okay. So, yeah, it's nice. Not as bad as on uh, Titan, <laughs> when you just fly into space. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, when have you plans uh, loading up the server safe? Oh, I can do that. I'll do that today. Oh, nice. I'll do it today, yeah. Make an announcement for everybody then. I'll uh, I'll put it in like server announcements or something. And later, if you have time and walk through or something. If, if you want. For whatever people have left on there. <laughs> mm, yeah, I mean... When the last uh, community project, uh, there was a lot of people, I, I, I guess, a few at least. Oh yeah, there was that. Yeah, maybe uh, second audios uh, for the first server thing. <laughs> Cause, I don't know. That'd be fun. You found the yeah uh, the last it's a better word in English motivation bands on, I'll be like, okay, we got some good news and we got some bad news. Good news is I sorted everything. Bad news is we don't have a large cargo. <laughs> also good news, we have the only saber right on the server. Yeah, true. Good and now. some good news and some other good news. <laughs> <laughs> and it costs only one large cargo. Yeah. Man! Such a nice <laughs> offer. Yeah, it didn't cost us anything we were using, so I guess yeah. <laughs> that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> to uh, to clear out the driving lane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just some junk It was, out it was, there. It was junk After in the way, it. and I, I, <laughs> we moved it. Oh, no sensor. I see nothing. Super scary. And not even see the horizon, that's... what the heck. Just brown nothing. My only indicator is the height. I hope there's no mountain in the way. Also, it's much nicer to fly distances gives you back a uh, lot of um, comfort which yeah, is missing in this uh, that. safe here yeah has no jetpack and everything so visiting people is now a thing I heard somebody playing sounds. Near your base? Yeah. Ah, there it is. Big old vehicle. Cujo? Maybe Xera? Oh, probably Saran? Cujo. Yep, it's me. Oh. Ah. Sneaky. Hey, that's a big vehicle. Dang. Large grid? No. no. It's uh, make a make a stream shot. Big old. Uh, I'm actually streaming right now. If you want to see it. Nice, uh, nice. On 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 Discord? I know what. Ah, what on Twitch, screen? yeah. Ah, okay. Had no. Interesting. Thing. Yep, big old tractor trailer thing. <laughs> you've got the the Lamborghini doors. All right. Oh. Ford flip doors. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. So, if you want to buy some ice? I got like uh, 20,000. 
kilograms. Uh, we got yeah. we got some ice right now. I think we got a similar amount just sitting in our base that we're not using. I like your uh, little flip down drills in the back for scraping. What is that? That I'm, oh, that's a cryo. I'm like, what am I looking at? This is just a block I haven't seen in a while. Cool. Ah, oh, we found a three large grid cryos. Nice. So yeah, um, I was bringing you a present, and then I rolled my truck. Oh my god. And on top, on top is where I put the cargo that I just. <laughs> yeah. Pulled on there with the mag pads, and it was like the only thing that blew up when I rolled the truck. Of course, of course. This is a really cool truck, though. I like it a lot. Proper huge truck Ooh, big old there's a lot of blast doors up top it's like here. the amalgam of three different ones that i uh that i like from workshop i can't remember who made them but uh yeah nice. that's what i've been doing for the past week <laughs> yeah yeah it's really cool dang look at this block of thrusters holy cow wild wow what is that oh <laughs> it's just the disco armor threw me off <laughs> cool Uh, you can have two of the thrusters. Ooh. What can I trade you? What are you looking for? Uh, well, I need to make a new base up here, because, um, I am actually on the South Pole. That's where I started. Uh. Yeah. That is a long ways away. Oh, you want, you want the sensor block, too? Because I don't really like that thing. So I just, if you don't want it, I you just scrap the parts and use them for an antenna or a beacon or something. Or a ore detector, I don't know, whatever. So you planning on uh, finding a spot around here and building a base, or are you going to keep traveling a little bit? And you're welcome to build around here. If you uh, want. I set about um, 15 kilometers north of here. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. We've got neighbors now. Oh, that's a good direction too. That's mm -hmm. the easier direction to drive. What do you need for setting up a base? We've got uh, some blocks. Uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> well, we've got wind turbines here. You can grab some wind turbines. Um, got some one by one by one large cargoes, large grid cargoes. Might help. Um, yeah, a turbine would probably be the all the like the most important thing I need right now because it's right. just unpowered grid right there with a scrap right. beacon on it. Yeah, so you can definitely take you can take a turbine or two turbines if you want. We're not going to set up anymore for a little bit, so they're just kind of sitting there. Oh, come here and check this out. Oh. I see you have a door there, yeah. Let's see it. What is inside? Ooh. All right. Very cool. Oh, you've got, oh, you've got a large, dang, you found a lot of good stuff. The uh, large hydrogen <laughs> tank in there, too. Large hydrogen, large cargo, all sorts of computers and whatnot. I like it. It's a nice oh, trailer. Well, it must be a good uh, place, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Very cool. So, essentially, it's it's essentially a base by right itself right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you get your respawn point over on this guy. Mobile small grid base. Definitely the nicest small grid I've seen. Well, I mean, in that it's huge and it has lots of bells and whistles. Very cool. It's got these little flip down fuel things too. I like it. <laughs> Those doors. It doesn't have any windows on it. That makes me... 
I guess you have screens. It's just like you just drive in third person. I think I'd still put windows in it. Just a few. Yeah. There's a there's a camera on the front. Um oh, but uh I I can't get the script to work for the the LCDs, right? Because they just don't have enough experience with it. And then there was the whole thing about scripting maybe causing the uh, simulation dips. So I just, just turned it off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly uh, what the deal is with that. But... I think most scripts are, are pretty fine. Um, it's just ones that, that call stuff constantly, you know? And I don't know how that one that you're talking about specifically works. Not very experienced with scripts myself, so. Alright, I'm gonna hop this down. And then... Oh, do you need uh, better tools? Set on both. So, I guess, like, a top tier welder is the only thing I'd be missing. If you have a spare one. Uh, I got, like, four of the two Chevron ones. Ah, yeah, same here. Finding a whole bunch of those, but uh, we've only found one of the tier threes. The heck, there we go. Uh, did you notice the gun racks inside the cab? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like adding those in various, like, in small grids. They're pretty cool. I should add those and actually store my guns in them. I've been storing them in just little, uh, little things. Hey, it's a plushie. Five plushies, holy cow. You have a plushie collection. You need to mount those. Have them right on the side or something. He's out of energy. Oh. All right. Do you have, yeah, you could, you could take two wind turbines. Two is a lot better than one. Oh, did you see the two med kits on here too? I saw that you had one. I didn't see where the other one was. Is it in the trailer? No, they're they're both in the trailer. They're um. Not not the actual like uh, survival kit, but the, the med kits over here. The the red boxes. Oh, these things. No, they got uh, medical stuff in there. This let you open? No, it's access denied. Let's see if I can fix that. Hold on a sec. Uh, try now. Ah, <laughs> you got some drinks. All sorts of stuff. Cool. I like how you have ice in it too, to keep the drinks cold. Um... Where do you want to put this? I think I, between the two of us, we should be able to lift it up there. I think actually one person can lift it up, but... I think if I get up there, I can get it onto that mag plate that I just put on the side of the hitch arm. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. The problem with this is there's just not a lot of place to put stuff.
There we go. That works well. I can drag the other one over to the other side. If you have another mag plate over there. Yeah, I'm building one right now. Easy peasy. Yeah, I managed to uh, roll it onto its side. Uh, the whole thing. Oh, gosh. So I had to piston jack it up uh -huh. after digging a trench. Sounds miserable. Uh, hopefully this one's out of the way of your wheel. I suppose if you go slowly, it should be okay. See, the... The cargo container, I think we can get on the roof, and there's a spare pad up there right now. Okay. Yeah, I think, honestly, probably one person can just lift this up there from down here. Nice. Uh, no, that's cool. Uh, if I hook this up to it, it basically will function for a battery itself. Cool. Uh, like it's got four days worth of charge when it's full. Nice, nice. That is quite substantial. Cool. Very cool. You'll have to uh, send me the coordinates for your base so we can come visit sometime. Uh, yeah, give me a sec to figure out how to do that. Sure. Sweet, thank you. Oh, you didn't take the plushies. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want them, I'll definitely take them. So that's some uh, interesting contrast we got here. Your uh, scrapyard base and my bright golden Adidas striped truck. Yeah, it is very shiny. Everything we've been building, we've been just painting with rust. Doesn't make sense to say that, but yes, that's what we've been doing. Scrap look of the base and everything. This is the closest thing. Bands yellow respawn rover thing. Looks like he fixed it up. Huh. Nice. Last time I looked at this, it was trashed. So that's cool. Similar color scheme, but much rustier. Uh, is my truck bouncing a lot to you, like when you look at it, or is it just me? As much as I would expect it to be bouncing. It's just how it is uh, with subgrids yeah. and whatnot. I think with the extra weight of the wind turbines and the other stuff on the back here, that's what's causing the front to bounce a little.
hard to say. Yeah, I, I th yeah, I think it's just because it's connected to that hitch. If I take disconnect from the hitch, I think it'll stop, but I don't want to do that until I'm really sure. So yeah. I don't know if I can get it back on. Yeah, you could probably get it back on. You've got these little lifting pistons. Oh, they're fully extended. Yeah, might be a little tricky. If you detach the uh, rotor head, I guess is what I would do. Because you should be able to uh, yeah, that back that's, under. Yeah, there's there's buttons set on the back to do that, and that is the premise that's mm -hmm. the truck that I modeled it after works. Nice. It's just, I don't know what will happen. <laughs> I didn't even know if this would drive until last night when I pulled forward and told you I was on my way here. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think it'll work just fine because your little pistons should hold the trailer up and then you can always lower the suspensions to drive back underneath and line it up and then lift your suspensions on your tractor part and attach the head again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, find another Laborite plushie. Ooh. Replacement already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice. So this thing's fully loaded. Weighing in at 218 and a half metric tons. That's a lot heavier than any of our vehicles. I actually don't know how heavy the uh, Limekeen is. Let me go check. The limo is 166,000 empty. So, yeah, not bad. I guess it's got a few things on it, but I don't think those count. Oh, uh, you need any uh, detector components? Uh, or, or um, I have three solar cells I could give you. Uh, radio components, anything like that? Checking detector components. I think we have a few. Oh, yeah, we've got a bunch of detector components. I think we're good on that. Um, hmm, what components are we really low on? Uh, we did a lot of looting yesterday, so we're pretty good on most components. I got 20 uh, power cells. Oh. I mean, we could always use power cells. This is for sure. Yeah, we only have eight power cells. We're always we're always using those. Um, hmm. Could I trade you for some power cells? We got a bunch more of those one-by-one one cargos that we're probably never going to use. So if you want more of those, you're welcome to those. Um, hmm. Most of the other blocks, I just don't feel like most of the other blocks are really useful that we have. I mean, we got a bunch of air vents and whatnot, but if you don't care about being airtight, that's not very useful. Right, yeah. Um... Hmm. Components that you're looking for, or... Huh. No, not really. Uh, at least I have not until I get set up, I won't know for sure. Right, right.
Well, hold on to him for now. You're not that far away. If you set stuff up and you need something, let us know. I you for those types of components anytime. Because we're always, always wanting more batteries. Ah, no energy. Must be a hot day or something. Perpetually have no energy today. All right, I'm going to back for now, so I'll see you guys later. All right, see you later. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's cool to see driving around. Yeah, it's a lot more stable than I thought. I think this is the best kind of trailer hitch design for this game. Um, so you don't have to worry about a whole lot. Only problem is the lateral rocking motion, is which would normally in real life be handled by your suspension, does not work in space engineers. Yeah. Yeah, I would probably add one more like rotor or something to that setup. I like that setup, but I would want it to be able to rock a few degrees to the side, separate from the front. Well, it, it sort of can just naturally, but um, if you do that and don't set limits correctly, like um, most of the weight is in that trailer, and if it turns, it's it inertia is going to go. You're yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had that happen in my, one of my trailers earlier in this playthrough. 
I didn't set the rolling limits and I just rolled the trailer right away. Silly. But on, on the way here, actually, just a few minutes ago, I got air at 50 meters per second, like off the ground air, and I mm -hmm. thought it was going to break in half, but it did. And it took it and landed. loot piles at least it <laughs> yeah. only has to be done this one time and now we have a whole hangar dedicated to loot piles so uh, yeah it feels like it's the only thing i do <laughs> all the time uh, there we go at least the area over here is cleared out and i can actually maybe build a parking lot Kind of. stuff in that. One of the turret that we stuck straight out from the side just caught a tree. It's hilarious.
I got that these new cargoes have no port on the other and up uh, underside and on the top. Yeah, they don't have all the ports. It's a little bit silly.
Ah, uh, I figured out what's wrong with this stupid door mechanism. The groups are messed up. Ah, I forgot about this. You can't remove blocks from groups properly. Mm, you have to delete save the groups. them again. Yeah. Is that the block you need? Yeah, it still doesn't remove them from the group half the time. You have to delete the group and remake a new group to make sure it actually works. Yep, there we go. Now it works. Hmm, that's a bug that needs to get fixed. I don't know how many times I've ran into that, and every single time I do, I don't think of it right away. And I sit there baffled. Yeah, you do a lot of stuff with groups, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I do weird things with the groups so that I don't have to add more blocks. Because groups don't take up PCU. That's the main That's reason. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Take this one more forwards. And then I can put a bench in there. Yep. Ah, oh, nice. Everything in one large cargo. Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? Uh. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We, we we had built the connectors for cargo, you know? <laughs> I have eight connectors here just for cargo. Yeah, that's not ideal. Yeah. That's not ideal at all. Speaking of, I grind the connectors now. Ha 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 ha.
Hello. Hello. Hey, Joe. What are you up to? Oh, the usual. Doing some upgrades. Nice. I just got done upgrading uh, my truck a bit.
I don't know how much use these uh, small grid solar panels are going to be. Eh, maybe they'll be good for going to space. Yeah, in space you need uh, some sort of energy. Yeah, they will quickly spawn wrecks. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just set myself flying. Holy cow. Oh. Honestly, that would be the easiest way to get all the different types of loot. Just go to space with the simple vehicle and then send a wreck down. Wait, where did that... Yeah, the I wrecks are flying. pretty hard. Uh, yeah, you, I, yeah I, you I've like... gone grid surfing on accident a few times already. That'd be a fun way to get to space. <laughs> yeah, I think... There's probably some sort of wrecks that you could find that have... Yeah, sure. Some have something. no weapons and everything will be fine, yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, the mud! And mm. if there's one gun, yeah, that's, that's it. You can't do anything. Yeah, if, well, I'd just... still try to be well armed going to space just in case. Yeah, well, if you're in a ship, you're taking a ship to space, put uh, something on it that you can shoot with. Yeah, that's the only thing. Then, yeah. But ammunition is also a bit rare here. <laughs> We're going to hook that thing up. Small assembler. A basic assembler. We found one, yeah. Ooh. Which wow. means we can disassemble things and uh -huh. reassemble other things. Have you like, tested this or is it just no. scrap what came out or, or maybe... Uh... I'm going to find out right now. I'm going to attach it and yeah. find out right now because that would be <laughs> really good. Maybe just... Um, how is it called? <laughs> Because we haven't found a basic uh, refinery or anything yet, and we have no way to refine anything but stone. So, yeah. If this is possible, that means we can get other materials. We could make as many computers as we wanted by dismantling glass, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, no, I'm curious. It would be. Awesome. Yeah, it would definitely be a step in the right direction. I don't know if I saw this on Splitzy stuff. Don't know if he has one. It'd also be the biggest flex on the server to say, I have an anti-personnel satellite cannon. <laughs> um, production? Basic assembler? Uh, hmm. Ooh, stuff. It lets me make motors. It doesn't let me make computers, though. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so this is also limited. Yeah. But I could maybe... Explosives. Hmm. Uh, motors are also... I don't think any of this stuff thing. gives me nickel. So I can't disassemble... Uh, the motors. It. Yeah, that's the only thing though. So, like, all yeah. this other stuff, we don't really need. Maybe explosives, don't know. So right. It, I you rarely find explosives. None of this other stuff dismantles to give you nickel so we can't dismantle anything and then build motors is what i was thinking yeah. right <laughs> so this actually doesn't help us as much as i was hoping i was really hoping it would let us make like motors or computers or something um oh, you saw that everything right yeah yeah <laughs> now this is well balanced okay we still need to find the refinery if we can find a basic refinery then we're Maybe up and running, though that is obviously going to be limited too, because they thought of this, I'm sure they thought of that. But the refinery should at least be able to give us like nickel, silicon, maybe? Yeah, should be everything. But then you only can build uh, motors. 
<laughs> yep, but that's better than nothing. I can build motors. That's I can build true. motors and computers. That's <laughs> very true. That's a huge advancement. We no longer have to worry about finding motors and computers. Heck, if we can make metal grids, that'd be incredible as well. Honestly, any one of those things would be good, but... Well, now we know. The assembler's cool, but maybe not all that useful just yet. Yeah, sadly. It's still some use, at least. Yeah, I can do something with it. And convert some blocks into other blocks. Yeah, we can make some stuff. We couldn't make any of this before, so... It is definitely something. <laughs> cool. I like it. Still more sorting to do. In the shed. It's way too dark in here. Huh. place that one I can't place these must be just rotated differently on those blocks shoot yeah some of these panels are different <laughs> gosh dang it I think it didn't uh, look uh, why he was building this thing uh, these are ones that I placed. I just didn't match them to the rest, I guess. Yeah, there was a, quite a large hole in the roof of this thing. When we got it back, we had to fix it up quite a bit. Ah, dang it. Hey, just be glad you got it back. Right. Yeah. Got it back and positioned, and it really wasn't that hard. Like, it snapped on right away. We were, Ban and I were both really surprised with uh, how smoothly it went. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't one of you kind of just get like frustrated and throw it and it just so happened to land in the right spot? No, we, uh, like I positioned it with the rover on the crane and then we, then I just dropped it when it was as close as we thought we could get it. And we both thought we were going to have to like push it with the rovers and reposition it, but it like clapped into place from almost like a whole half a block off and twisted and we're like whoa did it just yeah it's just attached okay <laughs> so it was actually really nice that part of it at least sometimes it's the greatest feeling ever to be wrong about something yeah i don't know where to put these lights gosh dang it I want them to reach the corners, but there's just no way to attach them up there. One spot where I built it wrong. Maybe I go up and I build a bunch of them wrong. <laughs> Purposely make them different so they can attach.
beginning to think that cooperation is not in this forklift's uh, dictionary. Luckily, determination is in my dictionary. <laughs> the certifier will be built. Inventory full. Upgrades, slow. Slow but good. It's definitely better to take it slow and easy than rush it and blow everything up. Yeah. I may or may not have learned that the hard way yesterday. Or the day before yesterday, rather. Yeah, you just uh, priced Clang. Yeah, it's okay. just, just a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit too hard, yeah? Next time, maybe a little bit smoother. I broke the cardinal rule of remembering that I just merged the two pistons together. I may have died, but nothing of importance was lost. That's good, at least. <laughs> it's also a good thing that I gave you that plushie, because whenever it started clanging, somehow it phased into the cab of my truck, exploded everything in the cab of the truck, and then phased out.
That may or may not be why I decided to upgrade the truck. Well, the server's running super smooth right now. It's really nice. Absolutely. Dang. Should stay like this. Hopefully. Even there are five people online. I'm like, oh, maybe it's just like three of us or something, but no. There's five people. I am just sitting at my base without spawning anything new around me, probably. So that might be helping. Well, one thing I did notice yesterday, I came across a, uh, a wrecked building and a couple of wrecked cars, and it looks like it was two spawns uh, spawned inside of each other because the buildings were not grid aligned and they were both inside of each other. Oh, yeah, I wonder if those types of spawns really make it bad that wouldn't surprise me like those weird instances where we have small grids spawning inside large grids or like on posts and stuff that would cause problems <laughs> i imagine and typically anything that generates phantom forces can cause issues like that figure out how to attach these batteries without burning computer comps.
Perfect. Um, the assembler block is made out of an assembly component. So when you grind it, it's destroyed? Yeah, if you destroy the assembly component. That's why oh. you can't build the assembler, I think. Interesting. So you gotta, gotta find it and keep it safe. Yeah, build blocks around. <laughs> yeah. That is interesting. I guess the refinery will be the thing. Probably, yeah. Someone on the base attached every battery to one chunk, every medium cargo to a chunk, every every hydrogen tank to a big chunk. <laughs> what oh, the gosh. heck? That's Insanity. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 I'm starting to get the hang of this grab rotation thing. I Next never knew it was a feature. Yeah. I've just always been Skyrimming it. And after this, uh, you will think, man, where, where's my grabby hand? I can't build, uh, play without. It will be it's nice. been one. Yeah, it's been one of my favorite mods for a while. Never used it in my own world. Hmm. I'd like to use it in my uh, R and D world, where I build and design all my ships. Yeah, it would make merging weird things with uh, what are they called, like pistons and rotors, a little bit easier if you could drag things around a little bit. No. It is invaluable. Yeah, I usually do all that type of building in space, though, so things just don't move to begin with. I just place them in the right location. It's like cut and paste. Yeah, me too.
Arsenal. Hollow Wars. Wow. Yeah. Halo Wars Boss 1. That's a hard name to say. Hard name to read. <laughs> Who was the first boss on Halo Wars? I don't know. All right, improvements all around. Always good to improve. Base is looking a lot nicer than mine so far. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I've been trying to keep up with making it look decent instead of just functional. Yeah, rusty. <laughs> yeah. It's really bothering me that my one wind turbine is painted wrong, though. <laughs> Build some scaffolding just quick. Or just stand on a solar panel and pick it up. <laughs> and fly to the moon! True. Fly to it. Um, I think I can just do some scaffolding. That's... It's gonna work. Well, I have to go because my family keeps changing their mind. So, I'll be back later. Alrighty. Yeah, I probably won't be on for much longer right now, but I'll be back later as well. Do a few things. It worked out well, because we gotta do that trade. <laughs> yeah, I'm up to four large uh, Atma thrusters now. Dang. Yeah, That's I've been really getting lucky. We would have two, but uh, yeah, I might have dropped one with the crane immediately after finding it. Oh, no. oh yeah. 
Yeah, that was the thing. Though we have plenty now to build a pretty nice flying vehicle. We'll probably use the big one to go up. The big flat ones to go left and right. And then we'll have two of the one by one by threes. Two forwards, two backwards. Nice. And uh, we can honestly save the other stuff for another ship. In case we drop that one out of the sky. But with, uh, the, large, with the large thruster going up... Apparently we can carry pretty heavy stuff because you carried that thing blood, right? And that was just one large up. But it's not that heavy. Yeah, uh, the cargo's as, not as very block. heavy. Mm. No. Yeah, maybe we'll add a it's couple more so going up. So you wanna when you wanna bring home a, such a um, building you're right now in, then you need maybe. The large one and four small ones. Ah. I think this would be okay -ish. Yeah. Well, just the fact that we could bring home some decently big blocks is really nice. Doing it yeah. by flight instead of like putting them on top of our vehicle. And I always remember more thrusters, more batteries. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then That's more batteries so is more weights, and... That's when you need more thrusters, then you need more batteries. Yeah, <laughs> diminishing returns on that, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> but we do have... I think we have enough, definitely, to, to make the flying vehicle. Vanguard into a bit of a longer vehicle for scrapping. Yeah, the so, thrusters... I'm looking for are the small ones, like the really small ones, the new ones. The one by one Flat. by ones? These little guys? Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones I need to make a drone. So look that for I can it. look for bus things. The buses, if they're complete in the front, they have two of them right in the front for like a little air intake. Oh, nice. Yeah, keep an eye out for those. I think that's where we found most of ours. At least four of them. Sweet. Um, do I have any more loot to drag around? I don't think so. We gotta do something with this weird shipping container we've just left in our base. I guess it looks decent. Yeah, it looks like it's me meant to be there. Mm -hmm. Gotta tip this thing on an end that it won't roll on. There we go. It kind of bothers me a little bit, though, because these things are constantly jittering in here. Because it's not locked down. So, maybe I should lock it to something just to stop that. Yeah, you could try and put a few uh, Mac plates under it, so that way you could lock it to a flatbed. Yeah. Probably just lock it to the floor right here or something. Maybe I'll put a mag plate on the back. Lock it to the back wall. It'll reduce the jittering a little bit. Though it doesn't seem to be affecting the gameplay at all right now, so... It's probably fine. As long as things aren't taking damage, it's fine. You wouldn't have happened to have found a small grid antenna, would you have? Oh, we're going to save that for our flying vehicle. In yeah. case we jump out of the seat and fall out of the sky. That way we can <laughs> remote control it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, nobody's so stupid and would do this. <laughs> <laughs> that was like my first concern when I thought about building a flying thing. I'm like, okay, I've done this millions of times before early in playthroughs where I like my first scout ship, I just jump out of accidentally. But there yeah. we have jetpacks and here. It happens. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we don't have jetpacks here. It's hard. Around. Uh, yeah, good night if you don't see us again. <laughs> yeah, I I'm probably won't see you again, Blood, but hopefully tomorrow or something. 
Yeah, probably. All right. Have a good one. See you guys later. Bye bye. Uh, you're leaving? Oh, later. The heck, man. <laughs> Shows up right <laughs> as I'm leaving. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a break for a bit. I got some other stuff I want to try and get done. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I should check out the base. I did some stuff. Hopefully it makes you feel okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I I was just popping in here because I saw you were here, but I'm still working. So. Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. I figured you're still working, so I'd go do other stuff now, and then we could play some more yeah. later. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I basically just organized stuff, uh, made that parking area, moved the cars, put lights in the hangar, stuff like that. And I oh, okay. immediately invoked the Wrath of the Clan. Yeah, traded a couple people, so we have a few more thrusters and a few other things have changed. <laughs> but yeah. we're good. Okay, promises. Yes. Get box malfunction. To... Oh, I checked out... I have to go and take a look. Yeah, I checked out the uh, assembler ban. So uh -huh. whoever made the mod did think of the assembler and the disassembling thing. We can only disassemble blocks... Like, we can't disassemble a lot of blocks or assemble a lot of blocks. We can make mm. motors now, but we can't disassemble anything else that has nickel in it. So we can't, like, disassemble something and then build a motor. And we can't oh, make... Yeah, so that it's well balanced. So we have to mine for nickel. Right, so we're still going to have to find a, uh, a, a refinery of some sort to really make mm. good use out of it. Now, we can, like, grind down certain types of plates and make other types of plates, and we can produce some things, but... It's not like we're going to just be able to make a bunch of computers and motors and whatnot now, unfortunately. So it's mostly just for, like, changing steel plates into construction components and vice versa. And right, kind of stuff right, right. Until we Got get it. a basic refinery, I think, and then we'll be able to build motors with it at least. So, mm. and that's that's something that we can't do really at all otherwise, so... Uh, it's it's yeah. kind of useful. I don't know, I hooked it up to the base, but I don't know how useful it's actually going to end up being. Yeah, it might be something we just turn off to save power. No real purpose for right. it at this point. Yeah, I think if it's if it's not running, it shouldn't be using any, but I'll turn it off as well. We could probably disassemble all the crappy tools and stuff we have. Um, I actually didn't check that. Maybe you can. Oh, I we can... Because the assembler showed that we could manufacture uh, regular and one chevron tools. So that means Correct. we should, in theory, be able to disassemble those same things. Exactly, yeah. We can disassemble those things. Which actually does mean we can get some nickel and some cobalt. Mm -hmm. Though... I don't know if it's worth actually doing. Wait, we could disassemble basic welders and grinders and get nickel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But the only way to do that would be to just sit here and respawn and farm tools, and that's kind of silly. I don't want right. to do that. We'll just need a sacrifice to just kill over and over and over again to get his tools. <laughs> yeah. If Kujo, we... what are you doing today? No, I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have I'm a in danger. <laughs> we... I think we'll be all right, but things are looking good. I basically just tidied up the base for the last hour or two, two hours. Okay. So you didn't build a flyer. Nope. But we have all the parts to do it. And we have a couple more thrusters, too, so it's going to be really nice. That'll be the next thing we do, and then you can take the flyer out, and I can drive around. Sweet. All right, I'm heading out. I'll see you guys later. All right, All right take it easy, bro.